Okay, eighth graders, it's time to roll out our pizza dough and put our pizza together. So, my dough is coming out of the bowl. And at this point, you don't want to knead it anymore, okay? We just want to get it out of the bowl, on the board, lightly coated with flour. And then I'm gonna actually make this into two smaller pizzas, so I'm gonna cut it in half. You can use the whole thing and make one big pizza if you want to. So I'm gonna set that over there for a second. Okay, and then you wanna kinda shape it with your hands. Try to get it into a circle if that's the shape you're going with. You wanna start with the shape that you're trying to get. It'll make your life easier, okay? And again, if it starts sticking to the board, just add a little bit more flour, but remember we don't want a lot of flour at this point, all right? So, there we go, and then we're gonna go to our rolling pin. See, it's a little sticky. So I'm gonna go grab some more flour and sprinkle it on top, just a little bit. We don't wanna go overboard with the flour at this point, because remember, we are gonna get to the point where we need it to stick to that board just a little bit so that it will expand. It's also easier to roll out if it's cold. So if you let it rise in the refrigerator, roll it out from cold, don't let it come to room temperature. And usually that makes it a little bit easier to maneuver, okay? Now, if you like crust, you wanna roll it bigger than your pan so that you can roll the excess into the crust. See, I'm not getting a perfect circle, that's okay. We're gonna straighten it out pretty quickly here when we get it in the pan. We can turn it if we need to. I gotta roll this, oh goodness, I gotta roll this part out on top bigger. Okay, don't be afraid to like give it some muscle. You gotta do that. Okay, now I'm gonna use this round pizza stone. So that's about the size that I want right there. Okay, so I am going to, as carefully as I can, transfer this from here to here. Hold on, I'll move it over here, okay. And then, like I said, any excess that's hanging over, we can roll into our crust, okay? See, it's not gonna be perfect, that's all right, okay? And in fact, you might have, I might have just some crust over here for people who like a lot of crust, and then some not crust parts for people who don't like crust. My husband doesn't like a lot of crust, so there you go, okay? Now, on your directions, it tells you to brush your, if you use a regular metal pan, you wanna brush the pan with oil and you wanna lightly brush your dough with oil, okay? You don't want a giant oil slick on there, okay? But lightly brush your dough with oil. All right, once you do that, then you're gonna come in with your sauce. This is our sauce that we made in class the other day, okay? Just put some right in the middle and then start spreading it out with your spoon. You don't wanna go too thick on the sauce, okay? So start with a spoonful and spread, 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 okay? And if you run out like that, I need a little bit more, okay? I'm gonna bring it over here and just add a little bit more, all right? But glob it up in the middle and then spread it outward from there. And you don't wanna go all the way to the edge, okay? Then it will kinda come off in the oven, right off the edge and burn, all right? So we don't want that. So just like that, leave yourself a little space around the edge. Now our cheese goes on, our grated cheese, and any toppings that we want, and then it's going in the oven. All right, good luck. Okay, now if you are interested in the barbecue chicken pizza, this is the way we do it, all right? So barbecue sauce, oh, it's coming out super slow. Barbecue sauce, it's a little too much barbecue sauce. Maybe go a little less, that's okay. We're gonna spread it out, okay, so again, not all the way to the edge. Leave yourself about an inch so that it doesn't overflow off the edge and burn onto your pan, okay? So spread that all out. Nice little layer of barbecue sauce. And then we have an assortment of little toppings. We've got some cooked chicken. Okay, so this is already pre-cooked. This is just some leftover chicken. And we're gonna spread some of that all over the place here. I've just cut it up into little pieces. So sprinkle that all around. So chicken. And that was just like one half of the chicken breast and I'm probably not even gonna use the whole thing. You could use some leftover, any leftover cooked chicken, some like rotisserie chicken, leftover barbecue chicken, whatever you got on hand, okay? Chicken, 
And then we're gonna do some red onion, sliced red onion. And we're gonna spread that all around there in a thin layer. And oops, that's a little thick on the onion right there. Spread those guys out. And then we're gonna put some cilantro. I have a big pile chopped here, so I'm gonna put about half of it here, and we're gonna put half of it under the cheese, and then half of it on top of the cheese. So we're gonna get our cheese going. You don't need to do that, just keep it on the pizza. <laughs> okay. Ah, I can't open the cheese. There. Okay, don't film the dog, just stick with the pizza. <laughs> and then sprinkle your cheese on the top. And cheese is a matter of preference. You don't actually need a ton of cheese on a pizza, but you know, some people like it cheesier than others. So go a little bit more and make sure you get it all around. And remember, you want to use a mixture of cheeses, mozzarella and a higher fat cheese to cut that a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to take our last little bit of cilantro here and we're going to sprinkle some on top. You could also do this after your pizza comes out of the oven if you like the the fresh cilantro, okay? All right, and now we're gonna put it in the oven. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, eighth graders, here are my two finished pizzas. I've got a pepperoni in the back, and this is that barbecue chicken one that we just made. So they are ready and done, and they look delicious. And I made these both from that dough that I made in class the other day. I just cut it in half and made two smaller pizzas out of it. Okay, so if you have any questions, let me know.